PC, Windows version. As soon as I'm, as soon as I conclude, uh, Kim Crouch is going to come on and do the Mac demonstration, so you guys can see how it works awesome with the Mac. Okay, so let's hope this works. Um, when I say I hope it works, I'm using the Zoom software tonight, so um, I hope you can see everything I can see um, on my machine. Okay, and I have it open on my iPhone, so I can make sure. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here on my desktop, I have, um, I already have it open. So Race Solutions is actually the cons uh, consulting firm I use to create the Digital Express app. Okay, so here in the browse field, okay, do we have, yes, we have a good view of everything. Okay, so we're gonna keep going here. Minimize this, you don't have to see this. Okay, so this is my desktop. These are my sons dressed up as superheroes, yay. Okay, so in the, in the browse field, uh, you're going to go to browse. Now this of course is on my own machine. You would do this on your desktop. I recommend always putting these kind of um, uh, ex ex executable um, program files on your desktop so you can easily um, access it. So in this field, you're going to select a folder. You're not going to select image file names. So for this demonstration, we're going to choose my um, problem-based learning digital resource. Now in this folder are already images that I created in a PowerPoint. I already exported them. So that's what's in this folder. That's the only thing in the folder. Also in the folder, you wanna make sure everything is the same size. Everything in this folder is um, 8.5 by 11. So this is going to be a portrait digital resource. So we're going to select the folder. Here in the drop down box, um, I selected the most common slide sizes. So the first one is a portrait, the next one is a landscape. Then we have 13.33 by 7.5, which is equivalent to the widescreen a ratio of 16, um, was it 16 by nine? Then we have uh, eight by 10 and then 10 by eight. Now um, that's what's available right now for this program. I don't see myself adding anything in the near future, but maybe down the road, but for now, this is what is available. Okay, now if you happen to put a different files, um, image slides in the folder, but select a different image uh, size here, it will skew, it will distort just like it would normally. Um, so I recommend sticking with what's there. Okay, so that's it. So you're gonna hit submit. Okay, PowerPoint was created successfully. Okay, so where is it? So you're gonna hit okay. Go to the destination folder where you chose your images. Okay, I'm going to double click on your PowerPoint, which will then launch and here they are. Oh, it worked. Okay, so let's keep going. They have seven minutes. So I would of course always go and check and as you can see, they're all embedded perfectly. And I will just scroll through for you to show you that they're all here. And they look awesome. And I'm clicking and it's great. They are embedded in the background. Okay, so now you're gonna be like, okay, but you're embedding them in PowerPoint. You're right. I'm changing up the process. So watch this. You're gonna go to your, do I have one open already? I do, I know I do. I started one early to save time. You're gonna go to your Google Slides, right? Then you're going to open up a new Google Slides presentation. You're going to name it like you normally would. You're going to file, um, you're gonna do your page setup. I already put in 8.5 by 11. Now watch this. You're going to import your slides. Upload. Select a file from your computer. Go to your destination folder. Find your PowerPoint. Open. And it will do some uploading. This is magic. Are you ready? Oh my God. My heart's beating. All right. Okay, so all of your slides from the PowerPoint should appear here, and they do. I select all, 
import slides. And they all appear. Now, there's always this one blank one here in the beginning. Just delete it. I will figure out how to get rid of that, but it's very not bothersome, so just delete it. And you will see again, I am clicking on these slides, and guess what? They're all embedded in the background. And here you have it. And my demonstration has taken a little bit of seven minutes. So can you imagine how you can do it, how fast you can do it? If you weren't doing a live demonstration, probably under five minutes. Um, somebody commented earlier that they used the app for 60 slides in less than five minutes. So this is amazing, right? Yeah, oh my, okay. So what kind of comments do we have? Uh, yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. This is like love at first sight. Can I just tell you how much, oh, <laughs> how much time and aggravation this is going to save? I also love this too, too because now you could just embed all your text boxes, add text boxes, add your instructions. You can now focus on your movable pieces, and it is done. Done, done, done. Woohoo, it's done. Okay, so there's a little, little tip here that I like um, that I figured out. Is it under? Okay, so if you, go, if you go to, I believe it's View Master, in this section here, there's on occasion, um, on, let's go back to View Normal. Okay, if you go to View Master, sometimes there's that, um, text box that they automatically embed where it says like enter enter title here I think it's called just if you go there and remove it it removes them all automatically on all your slides which is really awesome so um if you have any questions about the app like I said as soon as I conclude my demonstration Kim Crouch from English Oh My will jump on in the inspiration for Google group and she's going to do a Mac demonstration and I'm definitely tuning into that because um, it is a little bit different, but works awesome. So there's no glitches. Okay. She's also, um, in case she forgets to mention, I want to mention it myself. If you are a Mac user, you're going to love that if you don't have PowerPoint, the PowerPoint file that's generated will open in Keynote. So if you want to, you can import from Keynote. Um, also, I believe there you should be able to also just import the slides from the PowerPoint. Um, there shouldn't be an issue with that. So this is great. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This has been a labor of love for months, <laughs> months, months, months. I'm so happy um, that this is coming to be a reality and a dream for me. Um, because where are we headed? We are headed to making a lot more, uh, a, a lot more digital resources, exciting resources. They Things should not hold you back from doing it. And I think this is just another way to make it easier. This isn't just, this isn't to make it more difficult. This is going to make it better. This is going to make it easier for you. I think it's much easier than embedding slides into the background one, you know, one after the other. Last note, always check your work. Always go back and check. Um, you know, don't depend on this 100% all the time. Always check your work. Just like you tell your students, check your work. Okay, so have a good night. I'm thrilled. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. As soon as I'm finished with the Facebook Live, I will jump in the group and try to answer questions for you. Um, okay, thanks for tuning in. Have a good night, everyone. Oh, feel free to share um, share information about this with your friends outside the group. That's cool. That's fine. I put it on my page. On um, I said it on my page. So you go ahead and um, you could talk about it as much as you want. All right. Have a good night.